What's up, YouTube? I'm Josh, and this is another episode of Beard Meets Flavor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a super delicious creamy chicken pasta with one pan and one pan only. I'm always filling the sink with dishes every time I do one of these things, so I'm going to see if I can kind of keep it a little bit tidy. Got some nice chicken breasts, a bunch of veggies. It's going to be fantastic, so stick around and see how we do it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, I got some chicken breasts. Um, you could probably do it have the chicken breast. I like it a little extra meat in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cube up the chicken breast into like one uh, inch cubes. We'll just do them all like this. This one's throwing me for a loop here. So, got some nice strips. Same thing, just cut them all down to about one inch strips. I've got uh, the Dutch oven, a small Dutch oven cooking on the um, little stove thing we got. So that way we can stay in one place instead of scooting around. We got the dogs are uh, doing some Irish jigs back there in celebration of chicken pasta. Okay, so now that we've got this cut up and our hands are chickeny and gross, we got it's a little warm it looks like, but we're gonna go ahead and throw in the chicken breasts. Okay. going to kind of let these cook off and while they're doing that uh, we'll come back I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll show you seasoning and stuff okay okay so we've got the chicken we'll turn up the heat a little bit because the chicken brought down the temperature uh, we've got the chicken rocking I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, Tony Chachery's Cajun seasoning because uh, it's got a good, super nice flavor. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to season the chicken with that. Don't go crazy. You don't want to over salt it. It's just kind of a back flavor. Um, so we're going to let that cook, get the chicken cooked through. Then we'll come back. We'll start chopping up some veggies, get those going, get it all built, and uh, we'll have dinner ready in no time. All right, so we fibbed a little bit. So you do have to have a bowl because I'm gonna take the uh, cooked chicken out so we can kind of make our, our base for the pasta dish. The cool thing about this is we're gonna have a lot of nice, you know, all that flavor from the chicken uh, in there. It's gonna transfer over to the, the finished dish. So it's gonna have a lot of good flavor. Um, using everything. All right, so we got the chicken there. I'm gonna put in just a little bit more olive oil. Tablespoon or so. Take some onions that we chopped off camera because you guys know all about chopping onions. Get some on the table because that's what we do. And on here, because why not? All right, so I'm gonna sweat these down a little bit. And just like with the, um, the stew, the onions, the onions and everything is going to uh, kind of get that fond off the bottom so we're getting all that good flavor. Uh, we're gonna use my garlic paste. Do about two tablespoons of garlic. This stuff is awesome because chopping garlic, getting it nice and fine is a pain in the rear. All right, so we're gonna stir that around a little bit. Ooh, right away, garlic. Okay, so we got that going. Now 
Now we're going to take a thing of uh, chopped baby bella mushrooms, throw those in there. And then we're just going to kind of cook these down a little bit. Mushrooms cook down a significant amount. So we're going to let this cook for a little bit, then we'll come back. We'll start adding in the pasta and the broth and everything else. Show you how it's done. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take four cups of, uh, you can use chicken stock, uh, whatever, I'm using vegetable stock. And then one cup of cream. This is gonna kinda help add to that creaminess of the pasta. We're gonna turn this baby on high, bring it back up. So you can see how nice and creamy that's gonna be. We're gonna let this come up to a boil. We're gonna add in the pasta and you can kind of see <laughs> behind me, uh, we started this, I think it was 756. It's 813, so you'll be able to see, start to finish, how long uh, this dish takes to make. So stick around, we'll be right back. All right, so we've got the pot back up uh, to a boil. So I'm gonna salt it. Add some fresh cracked pepper. And obviously you wanna do this to taste. Okay. Now, just gonna give it a little stirry stir. A little tasty taste. Mm. Really taste the mushrooms. Then I'm gonna add, 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 I'm gonna add one pound of penne or penne or however you decide to say it, uh, penne pasta. It's a pound. There you go. Okay, give that a little stir. Now, we're just gonna let it cook. So, uh, give me about uh, 10 minutes and we'll come back, we'll finish it up. All right, YouTube, we're back. It's been about 10 minutes. Pasta's just about al dente, but we're gonna add in the last few ingredients. So, uh, you wanna kinda get to it just before it gets there. Uh, also, shout out to uh, my boy Billy Shoes 23 over on TikTok. He sent me uh, a couple of cool aprons, so thank you. Uh, you know, the support we get on YouTube is amazing. We love you guys. And, uh, you know, if you don't mind, if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so uh, you know when more videos are dropping. All right, so next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. That's gonna, again, kind of help thicken the sauce a little bit, add a little extra creaminess. Also that amazing Parmesan flavor. I'm salivating already, this smells so good. Looks amazing. All right, then we're gonna take a five ounce bag of uh, spinach. May have to add this in bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, see, you could use a, a bigger pot for your one pot pasta. I underestimated the uh, the size of all this. But you know, it wouldn't be beard meat's flavor if we got it right on the first time, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get this in here. Uh, basically, we're just letting this uh, spinach wilt. Okay, got most of that mixed in there. You can see how, you know, that sauce really tightened up. Super creamy, delicious. Okay, we'll add in this last little bit of spinach. And then just stir that in. Once I get this in, we'll drop the chicken in. And then uh, we got a little special ingredient we're gonna add in because it's delicious. I'm gonna throw in some of these uh, sun-dried 
tomatoes add a nice fresh pop. All right. Okay, chicken. Oh boy. Oh boy. I would use the next size up cast iron in the future. Okay. Look at how nice and like creamy that got. Okay, last but not least, grab a fork. We'll probably use most of these. I mean, it's not a, but I don't want all the, it's packed in oil. I don't want to add all the oil. Go to town. Put them in there. Okay, that's close enough. All right, final mix. We can plate and we can eat. And uh, that's about it. So give us just a sec. We'll finish this up. We'll plate it. Show you the finished product. Give her a taste, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, YouTube, here we are, finished, served. We topped up the little more fresh Parmesan. Look at how pretty that looks. Lots of color, looks amazing. And here it is, 842, took us about 40 minutes, you know, if you, maybe 35 minutes if you got rid of all the stuff we do on the back end. But uh, it's time. Time for beer to meet the flavor. Let's do it. I wanna get a nice, Noodles, chicken, mushroom, sun-dried tomato, the whole shebang. Here we go. Man, that's amazing. First off, the noodles are cooked. Absolutely perfect, perfect al dente. Chicken's nice and tender. Um, you can really taste the mushrooms. You can really taste the um, the sun-dried tomatoes. That Cajun spice comes through. And like I said, I mean, it's just super, super creamy. Absolutely delicious. And yeah, we have a little bit of dish, uh, but technically we did it all in one pot. So there you go. Very easy, perfect family night dinner. You can make a you know, huge pot of it, feed a bunch of people, or make a small pot of it, feed your family, and uh, have some excellent leftovers. So, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, we absolutely love you guys. We'll see you on the next one.